Good morning, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. I'm going to talk to you today about bathing dogs that have hot spots and itchy skin. And basically the thing is, don't do it. If you only have time to watch these few seconds, don't bath them. Absolutely don't bath them. Um, now, sometimes on like TV, if you're watching a rescue centre programme or vets programme or something like that, you will see dogs that have really itchy skin and they're being bathed. That's different because they've got mites and things like that. And so they need the medicated shampoo. I'm talking about hot spots and itchy skin and caused by allergies and related to the hot spot. Absolutely do not bath them. I haven't bathed Albert in years. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go over it all again. You know, my if you know my story and you know how bad things were with him, um, you know how well I've done. And for the last seven years, he hasn't had a single hot spot and everything's really great. If you don't know my story, please just go to the... I'm going to put the playlist for Hotspots up at the end of this video. Um, Albert was so bad. He, I and the vet, and I don't agree with vets often, but I and the vets agreed that his quality of life was so bad, it would probably be best to put him down. However, I, fight, I fought the fight, and I won, and I researched and researched and researched by myself, because vets just don't know anything about it, and I found all the solutions and he's nine now, almost 10. Um, and for the last, I don't even know, nine, eight, nine years, he hasn't had any hot spots ever. But I stick strictly, very strictly to the rules. And one of them is that I don't bath him ever. Now, you could look at him sleeping there and think, yeah, he needs a bath. <laughs> and that may well be the, be the case. But the thing is, that the problem with Bichon's is that they are a dog that are often kept, they're certainly bred for their looks, and they're often kept for their looks. The problem is their skin can't live up to that because their skin does not cope with anything perfumed and it certainly doesn't cope with being bathed and shampooed and all of that. And that's the whole problem. And um, I'm so sure that um, so many dogs with hot spots, it's caused because they are bathed too much. I mean, obviously, you know, it's diet and how important diet is. Um, if you go and watch the video, you'll see it all in there. But being bathed too much is a massive, massive um, cause of um, dogs getting hot spots. I think with Bichon, you've really got to take them for their personality, which is it's a, they're an amazing little dog and forget about what they look like. I don't care what he looks like, as you can tell. All I care about is that he's not ever itchy and that he never has hot spots and he doesn't have either of those things. I couldn't care less about what he looks like. You can see there his feet have got the brown staining on it and his mouth has all got the brown staining. That's, um, if you don't know about Bichons, they have something in their saliva that just causes that. Um, it, and when they lick themselves, it, it turns the fur brown. Now, it's not damaging in any way. It's just a, a trait of the Bichon. The problem is the Bichon look, where they're pure white, what groomers will do is they will use um, a product, sometimes it's in a shampoo or sometimes it's on its own, where it bleaches the fur so that you get a more pure white. And um, that is so damaging to the skin, so damaging. If you see a Bichon that's just pure white, you know that they've been bleached with this product and it's really, really harmful to them. And what they'll do is they'll use it around their eyes now, if Albert, okay, you can see his face is, yeah, I know, darling, I was talking to you about you. His face is a bit just generally grubby and dirty because he's always got it in bushes and mud and, you know, when we're out on our walk, I'm not precious. He's allowed in the mud and stuff. That's why his feet are so dirty because he's, that's, it's just, they're just muddy and, you know, they've been in the rain and stuff like that. Let me go and find him again. He's not my best camera person. Let me turn around again the other way so we can see him the other way. Um, yeah, so what I was saying was about, um, <laughs> what I was saying about ice gank is, is that, hang on, let's try and, I'm trying to, he's really, honestly, if you know, if you know my channel, you know, he, he'll probably walk off in a minute, he normally walks off when I'm recording. Eye skank, you know that skanky old stuff they get out of their eye, that is caused by a diet. Now, Albert looks from this angle like he's got it, but he hasn't, he's just got a dirty face. He doesn't have ice skank. Ice skank is caused by grains in diet. And if you're feeding your dog grains in the diet, that's why you've got hot spots. So again, go and watch the videos. It's all in there um, in great detail. So I um, 
learnt when I was doing my research all those many years ago that bathing dogs is just really, really bad for their skin. Right, this is where it gets a bit there because I haven't bathed Albert in about seven years. So I, I'll i tell you in a minute how I keep him clean. Now, Harry over there, you see my Harry there, he, he has a tiny bit of Bichon in him, but he's a whole mixture of other stuff. So he's just generally not, he's not a Bichon. He has to be bathed probably about every four months because he gets that, you know, that smell dogs get, that sicky, sort of sicky, sweet smell. He gets that. And so I just quickly put him in the shower about every four or five months. Um, and he is also the worst dog in the world for rolling in fox poo. So he will sometimes have to go in because of that. Um, and his skin doesn't react to it at all. But, um, and we've got humps down here. I can't bath him at the moment because as you, if you know my channel, you know he's my rescue from Korea and there's no way on this planet he's going to let me bath him. Um, I'm relying, I've been relying on wet wipes and rain for him. Um, and so these two, you know, they do get that dog smell and they will need bath him, but their skin doesn't react at all. But my Albert over here, because he's a Bichon, his skin reacts really bad. And so what I do to keep him clean, you can see, I mean, look, his fur is nice and clean. But can you see, look, there's no hot spots, no itching. And there hasn't been anything for years and years and years and years and years and years. To keep him clean, what I do is I use wet wipes. If I, in a minute, I'll go, I'll go and show you the ones I use. Just baby wipes, just baby wipes. When I'm doing my shopping, I just get baby wipes. Um... I wipe him down with them sometimes. Actually, I haven't done that in a long time. I wipe, you wouldn't believe it, but I do actually wash, wash his feet and his fat chin when we get back from our walk. Um, but it's just, it's just, it's, you know, it, 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 this is not his best angle, shall we say. But the wet wipes. Now, the other thing that's really important, actually, let me take you into the kitchen to show you this bit. Right, so the important thing is here that you brush your dog every day. Because you need to keep your dog as clean as possible. So whether you've got a puppy and you've got to train the puppy. Or whether you've got an older dog and you need to train the older dog. I always use the same method and it's so successful. If you want to see this dem me demonstrate this with dogs. Go to playlist, go to grooming your dog. And there's a video called brushing your dog so he likes it. And I demonstrate this with dogs. And all I do is, so you need a, a kitchen. Sometimes I use the... Um, I've used the back door and done it outside with dogs. Um, but this is something you could do. because you just use your kitchen door. So something that you can wipe clean. Um, and then I've just got cheap sandwich paste that you just get when you go shopping. And you just smear it all over the door. <clears throat> and then while they're licking it off, you're brushing them. They very quickly um, are very happy about being brushed if it means they get to lick this paste off the door. Um, or you could use... Um, you can use peanut butter, but be really careful that you get the sh that you don't get the sugar free one. It's really important. I always think it's too much of an easy mistake to make and it's not worth the risk. So just get yourself a cheap paste, something like that. Smear it all over the door. And before you know it, then you'll be able to brush them without the paste on the door. It's how I've trained all my dogs over the years and many other dogs. And it works an absolute treat. When I recorded my long video going on to, into all the detail and all the things that I do with hotspots, I talked about Hibby Scrub. Now, I don't think I made it very clear on there because a few of you have contacted me to say that you're going to bath your dog in it. And I that absolutely is not what you're meant to do. I have watched the video back and um, I do say in there the way I think it should be done, but some of you are just reading it wrong. Hibby Scrub is only for bath bathing the hot spot it is not for bathing the dog you'll it's a it's a strong product and you really really do not want to bath your dogs in hibby scrub hibby scrub is the thing that um surgeons use to wash their hands before they go and do an operation so it absolutely clears away any bacteria and it stops infection and when you've got a hot spot if you don't get on top of it it's next thing that it will go to is being infected and then you just in a well it's just a, it's just horrible really really horrible mess um and then you're dealing with infection hibby scrub is the only thing that i came across ever that just cleans it up and makes sure that you do not get the hot spot infected so hibby scrub now it's spelled h i b i scrub it's one word 
So it's H-I-B-I-S-C-R-U-B. So Hibby Scrub. I get it from Amazon. And a lot of you are asking me which one I use. It isn't like that. Hibby Scrub is Hibby Scrub. It'd be like... It's just Hibby Scrub is Hibby Scrub. It's not like different brands produce it. It's just you get the bottle of Hibby Scrub. That's it. And it's in a white bottle. It's got pink writing and it's got like a big pink squirrel across the front of it and some hands. I haven't got any to show you because, you know, I've been so successful with everything I'm doing with Al, but we haven't got hot spots, so I don't have any in. Um, so all you need to do is bathe the actual hot spot. So don't use cotton wool because it's loose. Get some tissue. Don't use kitchen towel. It's a bit too rough. Get some tissue. So so you put a little bit of this hippie scrub in the sink or in a bowl or whatever you want to put it in. And then you add water to it and it bubbles up like a bubble bath. And then you just soak your tissue and then bathe. Just place it on the hot spot and bathe it. Let it dry. Don't let the dog lick it. So, um, again, as I talked about in that video, when you put any cream or anything that you put in on the hot spot, pick your dog up. And Because this is mainly a Bichon problem, it's easy to do that. Pick your dog up, take them for a wander around the house or whatever, garden, until the hippie scrub has dried on them. If they're a bigger dog and you can't do that, then just you know, keep them distracted, feed them treats or something so that they won't actually go at the hot spot because you need to let that hippie scrub dry and that will clean up any infection. Even if your hotspot hasn't got any infection, bathe it with hippie scrub because it will make sure that it doesn't get any. The only time, something I did do was when Albert was really bad, so he was just a right itchy, hot spotty, he had about 15 hot spots on him and he um, was just itchy all over. Absolute awful, awful situation. And so what? one of the things that was really, really itchy were his feet, his paws. He was just chewing at them with the itch. He was driving him mad. So what I did was I bathed all the hot spots with the hippie scrub. And then I put, so I would put some hippie scrub into the kitchen sink, put some warm water in there, make it all big and frothy and um, lovely um, with the bubbles. But I would go up to about, so probably up to about that deep. So not very deep because he's not very, sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry, you're not Harry. Are you? Sorry, Albert. He's not very high, so, you know, just that high. And then I put him in the sink because it was the only way I could completely get his feet completely immersed in it and make sure that they were nice and clean and he wasn't getting any infection. Because although he wasn't having the hot spots on his feet, he, he was getting the itchiness. And it goes the same. I've done a video about this. It's the first video I ever did about just itchy feet. And it often happens in the spring and the autumn. And your dog might not have hot spots. It might be nothing to do with that. But he has got itchy feet. And soaking them in hippy scrub like that is a really good way to make sure that they're kept clean and there's no infection. So that's hippy scrub. I can't. If you've got hot spots, you need to get some hippy scrub. It's just that simple. Um, and you can see it works. Look, once again, we'll demonstrate him from all angles. Look, not a hot spot, not an itchy spot. There hasn't been anything since I put all of this into place. The other thing I want to talk about is rain. So I don't really know how much of an effect this has, but I love getting my dogs out in the rain because it's a, it's a good old, you know, clean, um, nature's cleaning system. And that doesn't cause any problems for him at all. So if it's winter and it's really cold and it's raining, I'll often put a coat on them. But as soon as the warmer weather comes, so like now we're in March, the warmer weather's coming, it's raining a lot. Um, and, you know, we go out on a walk in the rain and it's really, really good because them getting wet from the rain doesn't cause any problems with his skin at all and you know the other day we went out I was absolutely tipping it down and um, he came back he was soaking wet I had to get a towel give him a good dry you know that's like him having a bath really um and that in that works an absolute treat and with um humps here that we've got because he's from Korea um if I wouldn't even attempt to bath him because if you go towards his back legs, he will bite. Now, I'm really lucky in that he's never bitten me and, and he doesn't bite me. He just sort of gives me a warning, but he has bitten other people. Um, and so bathing him at the moment is absolutely no way. As you can see, he's quite furry. So, um, you know, when it's tipping it down with rain, it's, it's great because he gets really, really wet. He will let me, he actually gets very excited when I dry him with the towels. Um, and that's, you know, him having a bath, nature's way. And it's keeping him nice and clean. And we've had him six months now and he's not smelling like dogs. So I'm assuming that it's working. Um, but more importantly, dogs that you really can't bath because of hotspots, 
and bichons in particular because you know they do they do get dirty um out in the rain it's it's such a really good way to get them nice and clean but i want to talk to you about dog groomers because the problem is honestly he's the most he's not a very albert 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 um Bichon, look at a good look at his fur. There, look, he's nice and clean. He's all fluffy from being brushed, and there's no hot spots or itchy skin or anything. I think groomers is a really difficult situation because groomers like to wet the dog before they clip their fur, and they also, obviously, with bichons to get the bichon fluffiness, they like the dog wet so they can hair dry them. The combination of bathing the dog and then the hair dryer is just drying that skin out. It's such, such, such a bad, bad, bad combination. If I were you and you're suffering, your dog's got hot spots or itchy skin, talk to your groomer and say the bathing has got to stop. I, okay, I know Albert doesn't look any model dog. I'm not, you know, I can see it. But I clip, I groom him every, every Friday night is grooming night in my house. And um, yeah, I know how to party. <laughs> um, and when you've got dogs, that's how life becomes, isn't it? I clip him with the, clip, the hair, dog hair clippers dry. Um, it's just that simple. And he looks like that. The thing is, even when you've got a beach and you take him to the groomers, they look all posh and lovely. Two days later, they look. Maybe not as bad as Albert, but, you know, they don't look fantastic. So, you know, but the thing is, if you've got a hot spot, your dog's got a hot spot, snitchy skin, and you, you know, you need to do whatever you can do to get that stopped. And bathing at the groomers is a big problem. So, you know, you've got a decision to be made. I mean, either, you know, you have to find a groomer that's understanding, understands it, and will just dry, clip them dry. Um, that is another big thing, is that to get that Bichon puff, the fur actually needs to be quite long. But what you need to do with um, Bichons is keep them as short as you can so that air can get to the skin and the skin can breathe because um, that is where bacteria gets. If you get the fur too long, bacteria gets under that fur and that is a terrible bee breeding ground for hotspots. The other thing is that if you do get a hotspot unexpected and you've got your fur too long, it's terrible. Oh, it's really bad. Because you can't cut that hair off the hot spot. It is so painful for them. You can't do that. But then you've got all of that hair in the hot spot. It's a real mess. So I would recommend you always keep Bichons really short. Because if a hot spot suddenly appears, and they can, um, then you don't have that problem. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. If you've got um, a dog that isn't a Bichon... And so you do get that sicky, sm sweet smell I'm talking about, the dog smell. And you do need to bath them. Um, these are the shampoos that I use. So I use these. So my other two dogs that need bathing, um, these are the shampoos I always use. I haven't had, to, like I said, I haven't bathed out Albert in years. But if something happened, like he rolled in fox poo and I absolutely had to bath him, I would bath him in these, sh in, in these shampoos. Um, they're really good. So the, um, I'm not not sponsored anything like that, and I'm not particularly advocating the the brand. I'm just it's the thing I want to show you is the um, oatmeal. Now oatmeal natural shampoo is really good. It's really really good for dogs that have itchy skin. It doesn't um, aggravate it too much. And then it's the same company. They brought out a new one. Um, it's called Sensitive Soul Delicate Skin Shampoo. And this is actually um, a coconut one. But you see it's, it's actually for sensitive, um, delicate skin. So um, I, I would recommend really um, any dog should be shampooed with a shampoo that is for delicate skin or, de you know, sensitive skin. Um, because shampoos and the industry of dog grooming has gone a bit nuts, hasn't it? Um, it's gone a bit crazy. And... Um, all of that is about the dog smell. Oh, you know when dogs come back from groomers and they are they stink of all these different shampoos and that is so bad for their skin. So, so bad for their skin. And it's actually really bad for their fur. It strips the fur. Um, so look for a shampoo that's like this. Absolutely do not use conditioner on it. 
do not use conditioner on them and do not ever spray them with all that spray that makes them smell nice. Just shampoo the basic stuff like this and then and don't ever dry them. Towel dry them and then just let them dry naturally. I just want to add something in here. I'm just editing the video and I haven't made it clear enough. When you um, shampoo, if you have to shampoo your dog, if you have to, if you know, they've done something terrible, you have to. Um, make sure that when you put the shampoo on, it's it's hot, it's on and then off. Don't leave even the sensitive shampoo. Don't leave it on for any time. So put it on, get them all. So wet them, put the shampoo on, get them all lathered up, and then really, really quickly get that rinsed off them quickly. Don't have the shampoo just sitting on their skin. Right, let me just show you the baby wipes I use. If you're familiar with my channel, you will be very familiar with my dog drawer. Um, so these are the baby wipes that I washed Albert with. Um, they're just, when I do my food shopping, I just get them um, fragrance free. That's really important to always get them fragrance free. Now you can get some that are, are they water wipes or something like that? I don't think they, they don't do the job. They're not good enough. It's, it's not enough. Um, but make sure that you get fragrance free and they're just baby wipes. And every morning when we get back from my walk, I um, clean his paws with them and I wipe underneath his um, chin. Um, now, actually, I need to talk to you about allergies. Right, we'll have a look at my humps while I talk to you about allergies. Right, this is where it gets a little bit complicated and I'm not going to make it complicated. Hot spots and that kind of itching is caused by one thing. It, they are caused by allergies mainly an allergy to grain but there's a bit more to it than that but then you've got the other side of the coin where um especially bichons they are just so allergic to everything and so in the springtime and for uh, for albert in the autumn is another really bad time when the leaves are all on the floor they can just generally get itchy from it's just like hay fever really like we get that we get um and when it gets like that what i do is when we get back from our walk I, I will wipe down his whole body. Um, so I will brush him all through and then wipe down his whole body with the wet wipes because um, make sure that I've got any pollen off him or anything like that. That doesn't actually cause hot spots, but it can cause itching. And so although it isn't exactly the same as hot spots, it's not exactly the same being caused by the same thing. Um, you just need to avoid that. Um, and if you watch the... the um, hotspot video that i did i talk about pyroton on there um albert's on pyroton it's just a hay fever tablet and i talk about it on there and the dose and stuff um that is something that you've got to watch and so like now in the uk we're just coming into mar well, middle of march now and um so spring's obviously coming up and so i just have to keep an eye on it but i find that if i brush him when we get back from the walks and that i wipe him down um, I find that it's not actually a massive problem and the Pyroton, massive, massive help. Um, but like I said, go and watch the, the long video. I'll put the playlist on the end um, and um, you're, you're like, you're, um, it's, I, I go into much, so much more detail. So um, I know it's not very nice to have a little dog that potentially could look so fantastic, not looking as great as they could. But I do truly believe that if you um, have got a dog that's suffering with hot spots and itchy skin, you won't care about what they look like all you will care about is stopping the suffering because they really really do suffer and i know that i say this anytime i talk about hot spots but when i recorded that video about a year ago now i i knew hot spots were bad but what i knew more was that there was no information out there about hot spots and the vets really don't understand the cause of them um I had absolutely no idea how bad the problem was. And it, it surprised, Bichons, yeah, I mean, I get a lot, I'm talking to a lot of you um, about, and I'm talking to you know a lot of you now about your Bichons who have them. But I'm just really shocked at bigger breeds that have got them and stuff. Um, but, you know, go and, please go and watch the video because, um, really, please go and watch the video because I researched, I had to research, I had to save Albert's life. And I know that sounds all dramatic and all of that, but honestly, it's the truth. Please go and watch that video. I'm gonna. It's gonna pop up any minute, um, because I I really did all the research and I completely sorted the problem out. So please go. Out. It will pop up any minute, and then you can see it. So um, and, and as always, please talk to me about your um problems. I 
you know, I, I I don't want to say I enjoy talking to you about them because your dogs are suffering. But, you know, I'm more than happy to help as much as I can. I really am. Um, I don't want any dog ever suffering from hotspots. And as many as I can help, I will. So, you know, here, all the socials I'm on, all under furry and spoil. Please contact me if you've got any questions. So thanks very much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.